Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Ben ISL Guy. How are you guys doing today? And what I'm going to be doing is give you guys a quick tour uh, of the new update for the Water Channel application that's available on Windows. I'm not sure if this is available for Mac, but I know it's available on Windows because I've been using it for a while. And if you guys don't know what the Water Channel is, th this is probably because most of you guys, or some of you guys are probably outside of the U.S. What the Water Channel is basically a weather forecast where you would see it on your TV to get the latest weather forecast on what the weather is going to be like today and how cold or how hot it's going to be and you would basically see that on TV and in terms of being in Connecticut the channel you would see the weather channel on would be channel 19 I'm not sure if this is the same for all eastern time zone states or could be different I'm not sure but anyway here's what the icon looks like right here so let's open it up here as you can see the weather channel right here there we go and we'll move this right here so you guys can see it. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, so as you can see, you got this nice user interface over here. Uh, you have these arrows, so you can like uh, click between your different locations that you're looking at the water at. And it, and it tells you how uh, it is currently. So you can view the forecast, and you have the radar. In this case, I'm in Bristol, Connecticut, so I have the radar right here. And as you can see, it gives me a map right here. We'll go back to the weather and more storms for West Coast, help screen size and adding locations, yada yada yada. So you can view the hourly details right here. So as you can see, you can see what it's going to be like at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and so on and so forth. And at night it is going to get colder and colder. Hooray! Not really. <laughs> and then here it is for Sunday. So as you can see starting all the way from 12 a.m going all the way out to 11 p.m. Okay, let's close out of that. And of course, so on and so forth. You can view all your other days here. Same thing if I were to search the weather in Los Angeles. Currently, it is light raining right now, as well as Beijing, China, which is a different country. Okay, and you do have your settings right here. So you click the settings, you have units conversion, and you can have it in Fahrenheit or degree Celsius. You have your start options right here, which can be auto start app, and you can have that on or off. It's basically when you boot up your computer, then the Water Channel application will automatically boot up, and you can have that off if, if you want, but I usually have it on. Um, help, big deal. It just launches your browser, and then you get uh, different solutions for this application. Um, feedback, give them some feedback, you know, help them out a little bit if you want about it's basically about this application but no one cares okay so we'll click on the search box right here and as you can see I do have three locations right here and let's say if I wanted to add another location so it would be San Jose San Jose California right there and as you can see it is 49 degrees Fahrenheit over there currently and if we go back to the places you can see that San Jose is added on there like so. Um, let's go to maps or oh, maps we were already there. Um, video, it just basically gives you a video on the, what the forecast is like today. I'm going to stop that in case I get any copyrights. <laughs> I got to watch out for those uh, political laws or something. I don't know. Okay, so you have beauty right here, frizz alerts, dry skin alerts, cold and flu, flu report for California, Poland, so it basically just gives you some more information about that area if you want to know more about it. And then of course we have the arrows right here. You can change to Bristol, uh, Los Angeles, Beijing, it doesn't matter. Ooh, snowing over there. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> but anyway, this is the update for the Water Channel application for Windows. What do you guys think? I actually think this is um, better than the previous updates because the previous update you would just have a little window up there and ever since that update I actually couldn't figure out how to add another location because I wanted to add more locations because all I had was Bristol and then Los Angeles and then I actually typed in Beijing here one time I got it working and then San Jose I just typed it in right there so this update is definitely solid it's a solid update and you guys already have this application I recommend you guys update it because it's actually a little bit more modern in the tech world of applications i guess anyway guys this was uh 
quick little tour of the update for the water channel application for Windows. Again, I'm not sure if this is Mac, you can Google it if you want, or I'll just tell you in the description or there will be a, a little message box right here and I'll tell you whether it's available for the Mac or not. Uh, I will leave a download link on for this application in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben, I sell guy to stay updated on what I'm doing and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my logo at the uh, top right hand corner and I will see you guys in the next video.